showing you how to make a recipe that has been going absolutely viral on Pinterest lately. Before we jump into this video, I would like to ask you to please hit that like button. And if you have not done so already, please, please subscribe. It really means a lot to me and it really helps my channel to grow. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cinnamon sugar coated baked vegan donuts. These are really easy to make. If you have made and liked my vegan muffins, which a lot of you have, you will absolutely love this donut recipe. It's just like really quick and easy to make. I like to make them in a donut mold, but if you don't have one, you can follow the same recipe just using like a muffin tin or kind of like whatever like different mold you have found. I saw somebody recently that made them in like a little bunt pan that was very adorable, like tiny little bunts. I love that. My two-year-old has been like constantly begging for donuts lately. Like I think it's just the sprinkles on top that just really get her, but she just always wants donuts. And while I don't think that there's anything wrong with traditional fried donuts, I love eating them. I also wanted to have a healthy version that I could give to her on a somewhat more regular basis that I just felt a little bit better about feeding to her often. So I came up with this vegan baked donut recipe. It has a slightly healthier base and they are not fried. They're instead baked, which does make them a little bit healthier. And I really love them for that. And then because I just love it, we coat them in this like really delicious cinnamon sugar. But if you wanted to keep these a little bit lighter, you could either put less of the cinnamon sugar on them or leave that off completely so that you're just like not having all this extra sugar on your donut. That's not totally necessary, but still absolutely delicious. We're gonna start out by mashing a medium ripe banana in a large bowl. You wanna mash it until very few lumps remain. Then we're gonna add in the rest of the wet ingredients, some plant-based milk. I used almond milk, but really anything works well here. A splash of vanilla. We're gonna add in some maple syrup for sweetness. And then we're going to add in some nut butter. I used peanut butter, but you could use almond butter or sunflower seed butter or whatever works. You just want it to be that drippy, wet consistency. Then we're gonna sift in our dry ingredients, flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and some cinnamon, and then just sift that over top and mix it all together. I found that sifting it really gives a nice fluffy consistency. I'll leave an affiliate link down below for the donut pan that I use. It's just like a six donut mold. And I also have a mini donut mold that I'll link down below as well. I like both of these, but if you just don't think you're going to make donuts very often, it maybe isn't something that you need to have lying around the house. We do make these fairly often and I have a few other donut recipes on my blog. So I love having the mold, but if you're one of those people that just like doesn't want a bunch of extra clutter in your kitchen that you're not going to use super often, you probably don't need to go buy one of these. Next up, you're going to fill your donut pan with the batter. I do this by spooning it into a baggie and then kind of piping it in just to get a more even fill. Give it a little bit of a shake and then bake for about 15 minutes. While that's baking, we'll prepare our cinnamon sugar mixture, which I just used cane sugar and about half a teaspoon of cinnamon and mixed it together nicely. Once the donuts are out of the oven, I spritz them with a little bit of oil. You can use canola oil, coconut oil, whatever kind of spray you would like, and then just toss it in the cinnamon sugar mixture until it is fully coated. And then I kind of tap off any excess sugar and then they are ready to eat. That's it for these really delicious baked vegan donuts. I'm excited to see you start to make these. And if you do make them, as always, I love to ask this, please, please snap a photo and tag me on Instagram. I really appreciate it. I love seeing what y'all are making. And I can't tell you how many times people tag me in a recipe and then I make it like that night because it just like gets me craving whatever that particular thing is, which right now is baked vegan donuts. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm gonna ask that if you haven't already done so, please hit that like and that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And it really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you for my next one. Bye guys.